quiet. Probably the number one thing fans say to me is, will you adopt me? <laughs> and I think it's super cute and um, so fun. Yeah, I mean, I get really sweet and daring things all the time. And I really do love to share my world and I love to be open and hope that, you know, maybe my story can help with someone else. I mean, I always get really uncomfortable talking about myself in a certain way. I would never say I think I'm a role model or anything like that. Um, but, you know, I live my life the way that I, I live it and I just try to be a good person and I don't try to look to be a role model for people. I think it's a big, it's a lot of pressure and like I said, if they think of me that way, I'm so honored and so appreciative and I do what I can to be one, I guess. I think sometimes people assume that even though they see the progression and the work, there are a lot of people that think that it just comes really easy and you know, when I work or doing a photo shoot, they don't think that's really work or you know, they just kind of still question like what, they don't really question what do I do, but you know, they assume that the selfie book, it just took two seconds to put together and it just, it took selfies. They don't get that it took about 10 months to sift through 10 years of photos to try and find all of those and then figure out, we want to put them in chronological order and then figuring out, I literally put them in order from the first selfie that was taken all the way to the end. I mean, it took a really long time to put that together, even though it seems like something that was so simple. So I think that's a big misconception that everything is just so easy.